everybody, it's me, Moody Boo, back with another review. I'm going to try to keep this five minutes or under. I know, right? You guys chose with the last Moody Poll, Smokin' Hot by Killian. I've had this for a while, a few weeks at least, so I've had some time to really ingest it. I'm going off of Killian's website. I'm going to tell you what's in it. It has um, apple hookah flavor warm cinnamon bark, fire cured Kentucky tobacco absolute, oak moss, and bourbon vanilla. It is its own entity, but you still can tell it has that Killian DNA. Oh, it's really pretty. That apple hookah flavor of tobacco is really prominent in my opinion. If I didn't know what the notes were, I would have thought it was more of a dried fruit kind of a uh, hookah smell, but apple hookah works as well but it's a dried apple and they show on fragrantica a green apple i'm not sure it is a green apple it doesn't have tartness to it necessarily but it's not really red apple sweet so that's why i kind of thought of it as more dried fruits the cinnamon and that apple hookah tobacco combination is wonderful it's absolutely gorgeous. Now the performance is okay. It projects about arm's length. Um, it lasts for me about seven hours is what I, I think I averaged. Siage, it doesn't really leave any kind of siage. I am rather surprised with it called smoking Hot that it isn't a little stronger, but it isn't. It's, it's more of a polite kind of uh, performing fragrance. And it's fairly linear too. I don't get a lot of oak moss. I do get the bourbon vanilla, absolutely the apple hookah, but like I said, a dried apple, the cinnamon bark, you betcha. Um, and that's pretty much it for me. And that's where you first spray it. Um, I give it about three sprays normally and it doesn't change much. It kind of settles down after a few minutes, you know, once it dries on your skin. But as far as the dry down, it doesn't have a lot of motion as far as I'm concerned. Is it my favorite Killian? I have a lot of favorite Killians, so no, I can't say that it is. This smells super high quality. It is an apple hookah tobacco kind of a vibe with that bourbon vanilla and cinnamon added in. It, it, and it is a cinnamon bark. And if you've ever had cinnamon bark like in a hot toddy or wherever you might have had cinnamon bark, as opposed to straight cinnamon, there's a big difference. The, the powdered cinnamon is much more powdery, whereas the bark is earthier. It has a little more sharp and a little less heat as far as I'm concerned, which makes it a perfect combination with the bourbon vanilla and the tobacco, the apple hookah tobacco, um, and the, you know, the uh, fire cured Kentucky tobacco as well. Now with it being hookah and Kentucky tobacco, you would think that it would be super heavy tobacco, but it's not. It's very well blended. It's smooth. I don't get a lot of powdery from it, but it's not a real moist kind of a fragrance either. It smells formal to me. This would be a perfect fragrance to wear to nighttime work functions, a nighttime wedding, any kind of formal function. And I would recommend it more at night, but I do wear my tobacco fragrances more for the nighttime than the day. This is a spendy perfume. It's over $200 as are pretty much all of Killian's, unless they've been out for a while and you can find them on a discount uh, fragrance website. They don't come with the coffins anymore. They sell those separately for like 100 or $200 just for the coffin. So I'm really glad I got in on some of the very early Killians because I have about four coffins already. I don't need any more. It's very unisex. Um, and I think it's more for cooler temperatures um, because of that tobacco, boozy, hookah kind of combination. Anyway, that's about it for me. I really appreciate you being here. And hopefully I made it in the five minutes that I shot for as a goal. But you know me, I'm a chatty bitch, so it's hard to say. All right, everybody, happy Halloween, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. 
And I'm going to be putting up new polls if I haven't already. Be looking for those. And Amber won the top five poll. So I'll get to working on that because this is a perfect time of year to do a top five amber fragrances. I did one years ago, but I need to update it anyway. All right, everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. And use your own nose. Peace.